Hi, I'm Phil Bedford and welcome to the Rebel Networker. So on this week's show, we're going to be continuing with our behavioral style segment and we're going to be talking about the nurture. Now some of you out there have already realized this is very similar to DISC or the Platinum Rule and you're absolutely right. What we've done is use our own terminology to make it more applicable to networking and easier to remember the terms. Okay, so our nurturers tend to be a lot different to the two previous behavioral styles. They tend to like things a lot more decisive, a lot quieter in their voices. They like to take their time when they're thinking. They're motivated more by helping people than anything. And they're not necessarily that comfortable in networking environments. So you'll already notice how I've slowed my voice down, my energy levels are down. This is actually what we need to do when we're talking to nurturers. You can spot the nurturers because they tend to be a lot more reserved. Uh, often in networking events they'll only turn up if they have somebody with them because they're rather nervous. Um, they tend to wear more comfortable dress, so it's not about dressing well, it's about being comfortable. They tend not to wear jewellery unless it's been gifted if they're a lady. Uh, in this part of the world in Dubai we see a lot of guys with jewellery, that's more of a cultural thing for the nurturers. They tend to love listening, so you'll often see them one-on-one -on -one in conversations. So they love people just like the promoters, but they're not in big groups, they're one-to-one. -one. If you're networking with a nurturer, it needs to remember that they want to know that you're a real person, that you care, that you're enjoyable to talk to, um, and actually that you're not too energetic. So keep the energy levels down and just try and blend. Remember, they're after a long-term relationship because they care. So one of the things to watch out for if you're networking with a nurturer or you're a net nurturer yourself is a couple of things. Number one is nurturers don't like to say no because they don't like to upset people. This means that they can get pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed, and pushed to do stuff they don't want to do until one day they explode. So just remember, just not to abuse the nurturers. They tend to have a whole emotion inside them but you can't see it on their face. So again, if you're trying to push a decision from a nurturer, it's not going to happen. You need to back off and let them make their decision themselves. So nurturers, um, they can often be ignored because they are quiet and in networking environments, go-getters particularly will tend to shy away because they don't necessarily see you as somebody who's successful in business. So remember, if you're a nurturer and you want to be seen, you need to maybe speed it up a little bit and pick up your confidence levels. So that's this week's show. I hope we've given you some idea on how you can network with nurturers, or if you are one, what you can be doing to improve your networking. Next week, we're going to be looking at examiners. We'll see you on the next show, Rebel Networker. <laughs>